So today I'm going to have a go at fitting this Samsung Frame TV to the wall. I'm not really sure if this is a stud wall or a dot and dab wall, so I'm just going to start and deal with whatever happens as we go. Hopefully all I need to do is screw the bracket up to the wall and then make a small hole at the top, a small hole at the bottom, and then just drop the cable down without having to chase out the wall. Specs is on the wall, I'm using Fisher Duo Power wall plugs, I'm using 40mm uh, number 5 screws and some M8 washers just so that they, uh, the, so the screws don't go through the holes in the bracket. Turns out that it's not a stud wall, it's been dot and dabbed. Um, it looks like it's a breeze block wall behind there. As I've said in previous videos, don't be tempted to use a battery drill to do up the screws. Well, when you're screwing into plaster wall, it's best to do it with a hand screwdriver. It's so easy to over tighten them and you end up running the fixing. It's not worth it, so you're better off just doing it by hand. So now I'm lining up the cable exit cover with the other sockets in the room and then lining it up vertically with where the cable will go into the wall. The back of the Samsung frame TV goes completely flat against the wall so you can't put a cable entry cover on the wall behind the TV. So now that I know that the wall is dot and dabbed, I just have to hope that there's enough space between the wall and the plasterboard to drop the cable down or I'm going to have to chase out the whole section which would be a lot more work. So to make the hole I'm using a pad saw which has got a pointy edge on it and then a uh, sharp place that you should, should be able to So as it turns out it was actually a brick wall behind but there is a nice gap there so fingers crossed there's enough space to get the cable down between the wall and the plasterboard. I'm going to cut this hole out here which is already above this one and I'm hoping that there's going to be no obstructions between here and here. So it turns out I was right on a, a dot or dab. Um, which is why it was tricky to get out, but just to the left of it, um, I don't know if you can see, I'll do it close up. So when I was trying to get the hole out, the, uh, trying to get the plug out, there was um, a dot behind it, or a dab. Which I just chopped out of an old chisel. I'd normally use a fish wipe for this, but I actually had it, so I've left it at work today. So what I've done, I've just improvised, and I found a piece of plastic trim in my garage. It's really flexible and it's really flat, which is really handy actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and feed it up from the bottom. Then I'll tape the wire to the top and then pull it through like that. So fingers crossed this will work hopefully. I had to ram it a few times to clear the blockages. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tape this end, which goes into the one connect box. I'm going to tape this end to that there and then I'll just pull it back through so it comes out of the bottom. There he is, come out the other end, lovely. 
works really well. 